So good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's website design live. Hopefully, I have Mark in the wing. Are you there, Mark? I am, Jay. Excellent. I can't see your webcam. Are you turn it on? I'm going to turn it on now. Sorry. Excellent. So we do want you guys to interact with us today. So if you have any questions uh, with, with regards to what Mark's doing or Smug Mug and we can help, then please pop those through the question panel for us. Uh, Mark, I can see you and hear you loud and clear, so I'll give you the screen. That's coming over to you now. See my screen? I am seeing your screen and I'm seeing your webcam. So I'm going to go quiet, guys. Any questions for Mark? Pop them through the question panel. Mark, it's all yours, babe. Okay, guys. Uh, welcome to uh, another... Um, smug mug kind of designing the site kind of thing it's not just about smug mug uh, even though I'm a smug mug you a user and this is what I do and blah 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 this is how my site is represented and things really it's also about kind of just making it look a little bit better for you to question your own site uh, so many reasons that I love smug mug um, you just can't but there's too many to name but the kind of the simplicity of what we're going to be able to do today and me taking control of my own site is really uh, why I use it um, okay, so we're on the demo site. Don't get this confused with Mark Cleghorn's site. This is the Mark Cleghorn site here. How it's all kind of running, blah, blah, blah. But this is my demo site. And in fact, this front page that you can see with this carousel of images running from right to left, uh, we built on the last session and we kind of mimicked uh, another website uh, to kind of get the kind of the look and the feel and everything the answer with it so uh, today we're just looking to actually take this to um, uh, uh, the next level I put some basic kind of uh, links in following um, so we already had a an about page linked in because obviously this is just an updated site we also had a portfolio kind of linked to a gallery we had um, something built about commissions even though we haven't done a lot to it I've done something there for you to see it including a woofoo form blah 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 and uh, we obviously had a link there going off towards our client files and things really so in today's session what we're actually going to do is kind of come back and start to look at page design a little bit more kind of desirable styles and be able to make it a little bit more kind of fun and funky and what I thought we'd do is actually work on the portfolio um, section um, because that really doesn't have a page if you look at it what else we're going to do is we're going to show you um, a customized shop a shopping cart thanks to Thomas who's one of the smug mug heroes and I'll link you off to one of his um, uh, recent posts that he did about how to CSS your web uh, your website in smug mug and uh, I'll give you a link so you can go off and read and do exactly what I did and follow his instructions and I'll show you the kind of a cool shopping cart uh, and we'll, we'll kind of looking at that and things really but I suppose before we get going um, since we were live last there's two brand new themes um, on um, smug mug now so if I just go up to the top first and I got to customize and I got to choose a new site design now as you can see in the top left left hand side it says 17 May demo Zoe um, and it also says below it current now that's the one I want to do now remember this is the one that we built in May but if we go to the bottom here these are all the other kind of sites that we've designed themes I should say based on the smug mug themes over the past year or so uh, but if we scroll to the bottom you you can see uh, v, Vida and Deco are absolutely brand new here and things really so if we kind of just click on to Vida to begin with um, it comes up straight away based on something so in other words these um, images that it's showing for some re reason uh, you think well why is it showing all those photographs it's just to do with it's basically how it's set up so in other words uh, if we went into the customization of this one uh, it's basically choosing the folder images or most recent images uploaded or whatever it would be and things really so perhaps on the next sessions we'll look at these two designs and how we can kind of maximize them so let me exit out of that one so that's the um, the first new theme and if you haven't uploaded photographs into them yet, of course, they would be showing smug mug images as just kind of a, a kind of an idea of what they'd be doing. And then this is the deco one, which I think is very cool. Um, but because of it's doing a kind of full screen slideshow, you want to make sure that the images that you choose are obviously all horizon, uh, horizontal. And uh, uh, why? Because obviously otherwise it's going to be enlarging them and kind of cropping stuff off with no control. So I'd suggest that you choose a series of images that are, again, in the horizontal mode and things ready. So let's exit out of that. 
we're going to stick on to the designs that we have so I don't need to do anything I just press done and I'm back to the uh, existing page of where of where we are here so I want to go into adjust this portfolio page as we were saying so even though that this is showing a series of images at present, um, this page layout, in fact, is not showing the portfolio page at all. It's showing a commercial um, page. So the first thing we need to do to obviously change all this, of course, is go into customize and content and design. Jay, remember his questions as we go along today because it's live at lunch, yeah? So the first thing to do is look out on the side here and it's showing uh, that basically this is just this page. But also if I just look at the top of the uh, URL here, this is also into commercial dash food. So it's pointless me uh, generating a portfolio page here uh, based on commercial dash food as the URL um, because obviously if I'm going to do all the work here and I've got the wrong URL to begin with, then basically it's, it's not what we kind of want so I mean it would be waste of time actually playing around with here so I'm just going to click to done for a minute discard cha uh, discard changes and at this point we're going to come into all organize now in here I want to see already if um, uh, we want a new page, so it's basically going to click onto the Mark Cleghorn photography here and I'm going to click on to create and I'm going to go to a page. I'm going to type in portfo portfolio. Now at this point, if there's a problem with it, it'll come up. So if I click on create, so you can see already, it already has something on the site already where I've used the URL por a portfolio. So in this case, I'm just going to put a uh, one on the end. I'm just going to click create. And now basically what it's done, it's created that portfolio page right down on the bottom right hand side, as you can see here. Now, I've already created a 2017 portfolio as far as um, the images of they are here. And if we hadn't done that, though, let's just kind of show you what to do for a minute. I would just go into create and this point I would create a gallery. Remember, a gallery is where images are stored. And if I just create portfolio portfolio 2017 one I'll just add that extra on on there and then at this point because it's just going to be visible and I don't want things being bought from the site I would just go into okay they've got to be accessed by every, um, everybody do they well no one listed anyone with a link that's okay access to anybody anyone with a link that's okay um, photo protect uh, protection I'm going to use um, all but original I'm going to right click message on and I want to leave the, war, uh, the watermark and the download buttons off. Obviously, if you wanted to apply a watermark to the image at this point, you could. It doesn't apply it to the original images. It just uh, applies it to all the other sizes that SmugMug makes by design. Social, do I want them show sharing and allow comments? Well, in this case, it's the portfolio on the page, so I'm not going to. Shopping cart is going to be switched off. Appearance, um, basically, this won't matter because they're not going to be seen by anybody, um, but I'll just keep it into a collage. I'm going to calorie, uh, uh, sorry, uh, gallery cover image, I'm going to keep to off. Um, no, let's switch it on so we can show it to you. Uh, position, I'm just going to go by file name. And then show camera information, I'm going to switch to off. Show file name, I'm going to keep that to on. And then slideshow off and the enable map features off. Okay, so this is I'm creating a gallery um, of images. Now I'm going to click create. And once that's there now, all I need to do is um, just find where that portfolio 2017 one is, upload images. And at this point, I would just go and grab a folder. Or in this case, I've just got bridge. I'm just going to kind of just shift click a few of those images and drag them straight in. And of course, don't uh, don't forget if you're a Lightroom user, you can use the app to uh, upload at any stage anyway. Remember when we're uploading images, we can only upload uh, upload a JPEG file or a PNG file. You'll see us doing that now in a minute. Um, and you can also upload video, which is an M MP4 file. So what have I just done? I've prepared by upload, uploading some portfolio images up to here. As you can see, it was so quick, including a 10 meg image I just upload, uploaded in there. And if at any stage I want to upload more images into this gallery, all I need to do is basically 
go and grab some more photographs and drag them through again and that would actually go so you can update your portfolio uh, as often as whenever you want to or add into a gallery that you've created anyway any questions so far there Jay uh, no nothing's come through the question panel as yet with the exception of um, uh, well I say nothing because I'm lying obviously um, so <laughs> um, somebody's asked whether we're gonna look at uh, I know the answer to the question, but we're going to look at the new button feature today, isn't it? On the, the, the new button feature, feature, yeah, we're going to talk about that now in a minute. So far. Okay, but what I've just done is I've prepared myself. That's basically what I've done. Okay, so into the Mark Cleghorn site, as it were, and I've uploaded a 2017 one, a new portfolio in there, and I've created a portfolio page. That's what we're going to work on now. So the first thing to do, down here is that portfolio one that we just created. Double click onto it. That it then gives me the kind of op option here. When you're in the organized site mode, you can't see the page as you can see within the window here. I have to click on visit it on your site to be able to have it then visible of what I want to do. And of course, what we've got here is nothing. It's just got the what is referred to as the breadcrumb along the top and the social features that is actually as far as this design is concerned. So um, I want to do a, a couple little things on here, including the button that Jay was just on about. Um, and we're going to go in to actually start to really kind of look at the, uh, the whole kind of ideas of what we can kind of throw down onto a page. So to do this, we need to go into Customize, Content and Design from the Customize button. Click onto that, and then all of a sudden, of course, all these little things come up um, to actually all down the right at uh, the right hand side. Now you can see on the right hand side, it's already in this kind of turquoisey color, come up with just this page. So I'm only affecting on this page itself. So if I want to actually delete this bread, this breadcrumb, I just hit the uh, remove block, which is the little kind of trash can. And then basically hitting that, that's removed it from this page, but it hasn't removed it from the other pages. What you can see though, is that you can't um, get rid of anything in red because this is the whole site design. So anything that I'm gonna adjust here or change is basically gonna adjust, adjust the whole site itself. Um, we will basically um, uh, want to actually add a, a change to the portfolio here in a minute, but we'll come back and do that. So we've got a blank design. So I suppose the first thing to do is let's add in some photographs. So if I click onto photographs down under add uh, content blocks down here, you can see by clicking on it, it basically opens up into single photo, multiple photographs, slideshow or carousel. So um, let's in uh, let's add in a carousel first. So all I'm going to do is just grab it and drag it, and now I've got a chance to actually drop it in any place that I want. So I'm going to just drop it on the grey top arrow, and at this point, all I need to do is go and choose the gallery source. So I can just go and choose gallery. Now, if I didn't want the gallery, if I just wanted popular photographs or recent photographs or better still photos I choose, I can go in and do that. But because I've got the gallery uh, selected for a minute, I can just click on choose the gallery. And of course that goes straight into this kind of look and feel. Now this is the portfolio 2017 one, the one we downloaded, uh, sorry, we uploaded images to just a minute ago. So just by clicking onto that one, pressing done, all of a sudden, basically, these are going to start to appear. Now, um, at present, this page design and layout isn't making use of the whole page. It's just actually keeping it in a selected size. This is at 960 pixels wide, which is kind of designed for the iPad and so on and so on. So it's uh, not using the full page design. And the height, the height wise, I can choose at what kind of size I want them to be. It by default is 50%. And you can see the content aware height is on. So it's going to adjust it for me naturally. If I click into controls, um, if we were looking onto the uh, to the block in a minute, it would show navigation, so left and right arrows. It would also uh, snap the alignment into the center of the page design, 
auto scroll is set by default to off, loop images is off, and randomized images is off as well. So what I like it to do, I don't like clients to be able to go and actually choose which image to look at, because this is just the portfolio page. So I'm gonna switch the navigation arrows off, I'm going to keep the navigation snap to, set, uh, to center for now. In the auto scroll speed, I'm going to actually go to medium. I'm going to loop, click on the loop images, and I'm also going to click on randomize images. So that's the first thing that I've done. So now without doing anything else, it's choosing those photographs and it would actually start to actually play itself. So if I want these to go a little bit quicker, I just go into the tool button, into controls, change from me medium to fast. And basically by clicking done, it will actually just change these images a lot quicker. Now, I talked about not you using the full page. If I want to actually have a, a full page design, all I need to go is into the click and the plus at the bottom here, so at the top. Uh, you should uh, remember as well, you've got an op option to flick this panel from the right side, which is the default side for Smug Mug to actually add all these blocks from. You can flick it to the left hand side of your web page. So you can actually keep it clear if you design in the right hand side of the page, right? That's just by using that little arrow at the top there. Right. So we're talking we're talking about the overall size of the page. So that has to be layout. So let's click onto layout. And as you can see, it's got a fixed layout here. And as I said to you, it's 960 pixels wide is what it is by default. But if I want I want to, I can go into stretch stretchy mode. And by that, it takes on the whole left to right of the image. If I want to actually fill the height, of course, that's of the images themselves or the actual um, uh, design, basically just by clicking on will take over the whole height. I don't want that. I'm just going to click that to off. All right. So this is going from left to right across the page. Um, we'll keep it on for now. We can always go back and actually change that a little bit. So what else do we want to do? Click back onto the content now. And I want to add in some text. Why do I want to do text? Well, it's basically to ensure that I've got something to read uh, to read about as far as the portfolio is concerned. So if I just click onto text for a minute, and I just click onto the, the top here. So I want to put the text at this point above the portfolio. And now I can just write in the text itself. Um, so my portfolio is so important to me as a creative as it ensures each client that I am developing developing new styles and push trends instead of keeping to tried and tested and uh, styles and push trends instead of keeping to tried and tested techniques. New ideas of today. will often transpire into client shoots of tomorrow. Sounds pretty good. Should do that for a living, shouldn't I? Okay, so um, that looks okay. I need to actually add just a little bit more kind of styling in here. So let's um, just go in and basically change its size. So let's go in and perhaps head in three. Yeah, looks better. It's going right across the page, page, page though. Perhaps this new ideas is a little bit too big, so let's kind of shrink that down. Let's go back to heading four, and I'll just shrink that down just a little bit more. So that press done. So that's okay, but because I've gone through this stretchy mode, of course, all the design is going right across the page. Perhaps let's just add a a little bit of a, a kind of a design style coming into here. So let's go into plus and we come down to design. And at this point, let's just put a spacer in. So just grabbing it, and now I'm gonna drop it to the right-hand side of the text. And you can see it's, nat it's naturally by default than 50%. Uh, so I think that's fine for now, in fact. That's okay. 
and um, let's then just do a navigation on a page. So just going to kick onto plus, scroll down again. We need to get to navigation now, okay? So this is this new button that we've got uh, an of option for. So let's click onto button and drag and drag it across. So you can see I can drop it to the left-hand side of the portfolio, above the portfolio, to the right of the portfolio, or below it. Let's put it just below for now. And what do we want this to do? Well, this would be to uh, kind of commissions, I would think. So this is um, book a shoot. or inquiries. I think that's how you spell it. So this button is brand new since we were here in May. And uh, again, what we've got the option for now is actually to make it whatever size we want. You can kind of play around with this to your heart's content, so either big or small. I can make it either a solid or an outline design. So basically that's the uh, default there. Let's go to, um, in outline, Basically, what I need to do is actually add perhaps an accent to the box if I want to make it kind of jump off the page more. I want to put solid text. Uh, the alignment for the box. Do I want that in the center? Do I want it in the uh, right-hand side or the left-hand side? So you can see here, I think it's better in the center at this point, of course. Link to the page I choose. Well, of course, uh, this is where I want to actually make the uh, the kind of the choice. So the great thing about Smug, uh, Mug Mug, if you've got other windows open at the same time, he says he hasn't. So let me just uh, start one off. All right, and I just go into commissions. So if I click on commissions, so what I did, I began a new window to the same site. I've clicked onto commissions. All I do want to do now is copy that URL. Because of my horrendous spelling, <laughs> I always want to copy and paste in URLs instead of typing them out. I could never be a coder as long a coder as long as I link, uh, live kind of thing with it. So uh, choose a, an item or choose a page. What do I want to do? Let's cancel that for a minute. So pages I choose, I want to actually either go to custom URL because that's really the easiest part. And then I can just go into here. Or if I've chosen that page I choose, choose an item. Then, of course, I would have just gone in and actually found that portfolio, portfolio page. Uh, which one was it, Jay? I've forgotten. Portfolio. Oh, no, because we wanted to go to the um, commissions, isn't it, really? So uh, it's not on this page, so I'll cancel that anyway. And I'll go to the URL still as the plan was. So URL, I've put that in there anyway. Open in a new link. Well, a, a, a new tab, I should say. Um, do I want it? Well, basically, because I'm staying on the same site, in this case, I don't want to open in a new tab across the top of the UR, uh, uh, the window here um, because they're staying on the same site. But there are times I want to click that to go off. So in other words, if I wanted to, say, uh, promote a local fashion design, uh, designer on a page, but I didn't want them to just leave my page and forget about me, go off to her, basically I would actually open tab in new link at that point. We're gonna keep into off for now. So I'm just gonna press done. So that's the button there. Now remember at this stage, if you wanna move things around, you could uh, just grab the little kind of four arrows and now you can see it's highlighting in green. I'm dragging around the button and now let's say I wanna put it next to the uh, portfolio part itself. So now all of a sudden you, you, you can see on the basic page here, I've got my text on the left hand side, my button, which is here. I've also got my spacer on the right hand side, and then I've got the portfolio below. Does that make sense, Jay? Uh, yes, mate, fully, yeah. Yeah, anything else that you think we should add on to uh, here? Well, I'm not sure if you, I think you might have done it at the beginning, but I was answering a question at the time. Obviously, we've opted here for the carousel with the portfolio. Um, yep. But uh, what did come up in the question panel, and again, I'm not sure if I missed it, and you might have done it at the beginning. If we wanted to show that as solid images as a collage, so if it was uh, Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So let's leave the carousel where it is for a minute just to show you can add in multiple images as well. Let's go and add in a single photograph for a minute. And we'll just drag it to the left hand side of the carousel. Now, even for one of these images, I could go in and just choose that photograph. 
So remember, I'm just choosing it from my portfolio page at this point, but it can be from anywhere. All right. So in other words, if I wanted to just um, let's say this was my favorite image of uh, 2017 and it's a vertical image which should be good as well. So that now is basically showing the kind of the left hand side action on click is none here. Info style center the image is on fit to width. Well, no, let's go to um, let's just go to a, a, I don't know, a medium size image. OK, so I want it to the height perhaps of here. So let's go to an X large. So fit uh, width, fit width, fill width. Yeah, it's OK. If I kill it, fill width for a minute. Is that the right one? No, it's not. I want to actually just keep it within the same kind of parameters. So all I'm doing is changing the size of the photograph to give me the kind of the neediness with it. So there's the one image. Let's press done to that. But of course, now you've got this big gap to the side. But remember, all I need to do, if I want this to take over less real estate on the page, all I need to do is here is click on the uh, kind of the dimensions part and the container width. I can just say, no, no, no make this 25 percent. Yep. I'm pressing done. And now all of a sudden, of course, we've got one image kind of just going through here. So if I wanted to do that across the whole page, let's say, all I need to do now is go to single photograph, drag it across, put it to the left of the carousel, go in and choose my image, same portfolio, choose another vertical, pressing done, choose the size I want it to be, so we said it was going to be large, pressing done again. If I want to put in multiple photographs, I just go into multiple photographs and drag those across. I just go in single gallery. No, I want photos I choose, choose photographs. And then it's portfolio once more. Let's go and choose that one and that one and say another ver vertical image. There we go, done there. So now you can see they've added them into the same box. I can I can make sure they don't go anywhere. So action on click at this point, it's go to gallery. If I want, I can just switch that off to none and it's not going anywhere. Do I want it in grid layout and ver ver vertical? So you can add little strips of images going through. So as you can see, there's lots of things that you can do. Let's go all auto with it. So this is actually filling the size. Let's go to small pressing done and of course what it's done here is created square images if I didn't want that I could go three by two and two by three I should have in fact should I for horizontals okay so you get the idea so what I would need to do in fact if I click back on the three photographs there and I went back to the portfolio where uh, where it is and I say uncheck at that one pressing done now we'll just have two images uh, images to the side and by default, it's got photos at the top. I want to take that out. And so all of a sudden, we've got a, a real dif a difference on how the kind of the interaction is going on here. Let's see if the, me the medium is still going to be too big. It's a shame. Pressing done. So if I then want the portfolio itself, uh, the carousel that we put on to begin with, out of the way, all I would do is actually kind of drag it again, drop it below. And it's actually dragging itself below here. And now you can see it's just in a very, very small kind of element because the rest of the page is taking over the design and everything else to actually what is being allowed within the design concept with it. So it's still here. So we could have lots of images running along the bottom, um, but uh, it's basically uh, just being the control. So remember, as you move things around, it can take over, take over as far as its overall look and size and everything else is concerned. So for one image, basically all you do to run by the side of the carousel, drag it up and put it in wherever you want to be. If you want to get rid of those images, click on the trash can, remove them. Remember, it's not remove, removing the photographs. It's just removing the actual um, image itself. So for here, let's go in and just change the size for a minute. So let's go into... Uh, change this into 20%, change this one here to 10%. 
So all, all of a sudden on the page, I've got lots of little things kind of going on in a, diff, a difference. Perhaps I want to move that to the other side. Once more, I need to resize these now. You can see how it's resizing each time we move things. Uh, so I want to go back to 10% with the little one. And this one, we need to go back to the 20%. So that's pretty much only, the only niggle that you'll have as you move stuff around. And that's where you want to get to the basic kind of layout before you start to really kind of make your mind up exactly what is going on. So remember, um, you can go on to anything here any of these blocks and start to drop anything on onto the page. I could drop a gallery, galleries and folders and folders, pages and galleries. I can add pages on there as well, so you can do anything you want. Then in photos, as we talked about, single, multiple, slideshows and carousel. We can, in the, nav the navigation, we can actually put a menu sy system in there, a breadcrumb, a button, as it, which is new or a, fe a featured event. We can add a, vi a video in the design. We can add a logo, a separator, or a spacer. In text, we can put on a text, even a title. So let's put a title in there for now. Just by dragging that in, it comes up with what the, the page is called. But if I want to go in and edit it, of course, I don't want that put up. I don't want the... Um, uh, the, uh, the name to be Portfolio 1, we just want to call it Portfolio, and basically all it's done is change its name on the top of the page. And then, just coming down to the end here, then you've got the other things like social, that's already on there, we dropped that on before, so a pro profile, social icon, share buttons, comments, feeds, etc., etc., et and then things like discovery for search bo boxes, uh, a Key, a keyword if you're using those and services as well like the Google calendars and we use Wufu forms quite a lot as well. So there's our page design done, published now. And of course, um, let's not forget if I click onto portfolio, a portfolio, that still goes off to this commercial page. Well, we don't want that to happen, of course, do we? So what I want to do is copy the URL here at the top then go back into Customize, Content and Design. In the top here, which is the uh, red bar, this is uh, across the whole site, click on to it. In the Links panel, in portfolio, in portfolio, click on that. Basically, all I need to do is just go and change that URL that was there before. I'm pressing Done. Publish now. So if I click back to the front page of the site, you can see what was built on the last session. And then we click on the portfolio, portfolio part. Now it takes us to the proper page. It doesn't, because I didn't refresh it. <laughs> Amateur, let's do it again, Mark. <laughs> Go back to Mark Cleghorn. Did I publish it? Let me just check, portfolio, click it again. There we go, <laughs> it's because I didn't refresh the page. So just going into here now, we're clicking onto portfolio, portfolio. it should take, <laughs> right, now I'll go onto it. It's from the front page here because it's a different design. I do apologize. I know what I've done wrong. This page we made absolutely custom and not be the same as everything else. All right. So, in fact, I need to go back to here now and change this. So, customize content and design. As you can see, the navigation box on here, there, is not red. Can you see it? And because it's not red, <laughs> it's not across the whole site. It's just on this page. So, I, I thought I was doing it wrong. And I was because I basically made that front page portfolio and just paste that in. Press done. That's a good example of how to screw it up, Jay, isn't it? And it's not screwing up, it's just making sure you. What's he doing? What's he doing? And I was going like, let's come in. And then I, yeah, so you saw it before I saw it, though, fair play. Yeah. It's always you, <laughs> you know? And 
you know the great the great thing about what what I absolutely love about smoke is smug mug with it is that you can go okay you know I need to get something up and change today um, I'm launching a new biz a business I'm going to have a new style so I'm going to launch a boudoir biz business alongside my maternity and wedding business let's say you know and and I've I've got a new separate URL but I haven't got time to go in there and actually spend you know two or three hours actually doing the website straight away all I need to do is basically go into set the demo uh, you know your 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 new site up just buy it or trial it out remember you get a 14 day trial with with smug uh, smug mug no matter what uh, and at times they'll even extend that for you if you get in touch if you're still not getting a chance so uh, just go in and cuss uh, to customize choose a new site design so let's just for a minute go and see one of those new sites here yeah? because I'm excited about to see them as well remember remember what we're on is 17 May demo all right so that's the one I can come back to at any stage so all I need to do is scroll down here, scroll down to the bottom. Uh, which do you fad, TJ? Deco or V or V V Vida? Um, I prefer Deco, but it's obviously got that. Good. Song. That's <laughs> what we're going to use. No, that's not what I wanted to use. <laughs> That was a very good choice you had there, Jane. We hadn't even rehearsed that. So I'm just going to choose choose this for now. I'm just going to go choose, customize. Yeah. So this is just the home page itself. Do I want Mark Cleghorn photography on there? Well, I better had for now, I suppose. Uh, do I want that? Uh, yeah, uh, text, okay, Mark Cleghorn photography. Okay, extra large, I don't need that. Yeah, I do, you know, because it's going right across the middle. Yeah, that's fine. Center, color, line text, spacing. Yeah, I'm not going to change any of those for a minute. Let's press done. Uh, let's go and choose the uh, background images. So is this the background photograph? Slide, a slideshow. Let's choose it in a slideshow. That's okay. Recent photographs, now I want to go photos I choose. They've got to be horizontal images. So let's go back to that portfolio again. And in this case, I only want to choose the landscape images. So I've got this one and this one and this one, I believe, are my only landscape images. Let me just check. So yeah, it's the fashion. Yeah, but that uh, on the guy at the top there. And that one. Okay, so done there. Okay, so that's fine. Now I want to just go in and change that kind of little mini title that they got there. So they got friends, family, photography. So we want fashion. Uh, funky portrait. So let's go funky and fashion. I'm going to lose the fashion at the beginning. Pressing done. Mark Cleghorn photography through the middle here. It's, it's going to change something at the top here, of course, as well. So it's got the Mark Cleghorn photography. Um, so perhaps we don't need the Mark Cleghorn photography running through the middle, do we? So this part here. So I can actually just go in here and go, um, dare to be different. Pressing done. Let's say I don't want the kind of the basic kid shot. So let's go back to those photographs. Always a good idea to remember where you choose the images from. That's why I always want all those photographs in the same place. Pressing done. Now it's only choosing photograph three photographs. So it's going to be a fade, a transition, blah, blah, blah. And then basically in the view photographs, where's that going to? Uh, well, we already have the portfolio set up, isn't it? So if I just click on that for a minute, uh, text is portfolio, uh, size, large, solid style, accent, color, browse page. I want a custom URL. Paste that in there. Pressing done. So all of it in settings for a minute. I'm going to go uh, demo, uh, deco. So demo July 17, deco. 
And at this point, I may as well switch the smug mug header off, which it already is. Smug mug footer is mini, uh, powered by smug mug. I can't switch these off at all. And then independent home page. Now we can leave that as is. And of course, the favicon, I can go and choose whatever photograph I want. So it could be a photograph of me or my, lo uh, my logo. Let's go and choose a, uh, a different shot for a minute. Press and save. And then all I need to do is press done. Publish now. And that's pretty much kind of there straight away. I would say, though, um, your thoughts on that, Jay, before I say what I was going to go, I was going to. Uh, it's, it's weird, isn't it? In the design, it's not shown you what your end result is, is it? So it's a first. In what way? Well, when you know, when you sort of would usually in the design process, in the customizing design process, we would have seen. You, you normally see that the, the the type of font that the text is going to be in. We we didn't see that white banner at the top, uh, albeit it it works much better now because the font is is clearer, uh, you know. So, um, but the first time I've not seen an accurate reflection in the design stage of the actual overall. Um, I think that's the first time we've just done it though, isn't it? But look at that straight away though. It's changed the fun uh, the funky font there over on the left the left hand side there. So it's all it's almost invisible. It's choosing a white background with it. So, yeah, there, there's I love this font that it's doing. I don't think the font is right, though, in size now. That's the great thing about everything that we're doing, isn't it, is that it's, cust it's customizable. And of course, all I need to do is go customize, choose a new site design. And I can just go back to my uh, demo. What was it called? Seven, 17. Would be up towards yeah, right, the end of no, that's the one we've just done. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I thought so that demo July 17 deco with it. It's basically the 17 May uh, deco is what we want, and straight away I'm back to the normal. So don't don't be afraid to go in there and uh, choose it. Remember, I I put a link into that um, uh, front page thing. Yeah. Let me do it, press done. Let's go back to it. Remember, I put portfolio in here. I could have just done come in soon and taken away the link. So I could just go customize content and design. If I wanted it to be a completely, um, uh, see the navigation over here. If I didn't want this on the front page, I would basically have to create a custom front page which has no navigation on the front at all. Yeah, but if we just keep to this design for a minute, and if I didn't want this portfolio to go anywhere, all I need to do is just go in here, um, take take that away, link to a page I choose. We won't choose anything yet, and it would just be coming soon, perhaps. Can we do that with this design? Done. Yeah, it's a uh, custom URL. So you could actually do its own URL back on itself so it doesn't go anywhere. So if it, in the custom URL here, basically you could just turn this around to copy the markclegonphotography.com spug mug. So I could just put that, copy that there, put that into here and basically press done and that will just loop itself. But as far as the top is concerned, of course, all we would need to do here in the links is just go in and actually delete those for now. It won't allow me to do that, will it? Uh, so let's just uh, ba basic links. Let's click onto that. Search name. So we're going to just do that. Coming soon. Coming soon. Link to. Uh, home page so it links it loops itself yeah that's all we're doing so pressing done again pressing done so we've just built a, a, a simple fun funky front end for a photographer uh, without any real work at all with it and things ready right I, I need to do this custom um, sales thing if that's okay with you so let's move back to where we were before we lose the site so customize Choose a new site design. Let's go back to where we were. 
So it's 17 demo. Choose publish now and we're back to where we were. Okay, so um, what we what do we want to do? Well, I want to actually work on as if we're uh, going into buy photographs, okay? And there was an article recently. I'm not sure if you subscribed already to the Smug Mug News, and I definitely do, obviously. But they said they send you through something every month and things really. But there was a tips and tricks here, and I absolutely loved it. And basically, it um, it was from. Thomas, as I said, who's one of the um, he uh, the heroes uh, uh, within Smoke Mug, so he's basically on the help channel. He's at all the demos things, and on the the top right hand, you might be able to see here. This is the standard uh, the standardized wall paper prints desk art. So this is the shopping cart that a client would actually see, whereas what he's done is customized the shopping cart, and uh, I thought that was very very cool. Now I am not a CSS guy at all, but this um, link. Shall I send it out, Jay, in the chat panel? Or have you done it all already? No, I haven't sent it out, mate. Okay, I'll send that now. So we'll post it on the Facebook page later on today in case you do uh, to do that. The key thing was me uh, for me was to make sure that the image sizes that I was going to create are 672 pixels by 264. All right, that's absolutely key because you need to create these custom sized images that are going to actually represent them in the box. I love the way he did it in black, black and white, but I'll show you how I've done it anyway. So um, the first thing will be is if we go into the standard Mark Cleghorn site and I go into clients and portraits. OK, and we go and uh, choose. Let's choose Jenny, is it? Um, who's from 3XM Solutions. There is a code code on this. I went into this before. But if I click on here and I actually go and buy an image, I can't because there's no buy button. So basically, I've switched my shopping cart off. So I need to go in and basically go to the Mark Cleghorn site, which is here. I need to go and click onto Jenny's gallery, which is there. And I need to go into customize gallery settings. I need to go to shopping and I need to turn shopping on. If I turn shopping on, I usually also put a proof delay of three days minimum. OK, so I just press save. And now basically I've made them shoppable, as it were, buyable, whatever the word is. Set now in the sell part is where I go into gallery pricing. And I can go in and actually choose the pricing that I want to do. So in other words, the, uh, port the portrait is 2016. It's still the standard default price list that I have running. But I've got some other ones for friends and family and everything else within things really. So let me just put save for now. So that's the one that's on there. So if I go back and revisit, all, all I'm doing is go in between Safari and basically uh, Google Chrome. OK, I'm just changing between the two web browsers. If I ref uh, refresh this now. You can see the buy photos has come back up now. So if I just click into uh, into say a photograph, and I want to go and buy that photograph, this photograph, it's now to do with that uh, price list. It's basically got what is available. So I've only allowed wall art and desk art, and that is the default smug smug mug kind of uh, look and feel. Now, if we were you using Thomas's cheat, uh, his uh, his coding, which if you scroll down here all you need to do is actually go in and actually add this in you need to obviously upload some images and you're going to have to actually change it's a step-by-step -step kind of uh, a post that he's done it's really good uh, you need to upload some images uh, to what they're going to select from so if i come back now into the demo site that we were in here yeah and we go into client files And we were to go and select, say, this family here, the Ann An Andersons. So I can buy photos, this, fo this photo. And you can see what I've done is I've changed these on the side. And remember, all I've done, I promise you, is I followed Thomas's kind of step by step. So the first thing was I created um, a series of um, uh, images and I created a new gallery so if I just show you where they are to begin with and then we'll come back to it so I'll just control click as I do that and so in here 
let's go back into the Mark Cleghorn at the top here, into Other, and what I've done is I've created a new gallery, called it Shopping Cart, and I've uploaded images there for different re uh, reasons. So if we open that up, we can see that this is for desk art. I've, call, I've called it the name in the file name. This is for digital downloads. This is for keepsakes. This is for wall art. This is for phone cases. And this is for paper prints. All right. So they are actually called that. If I go back into the, all, uh, the organize again. So I'm going to need to copy, right click, copy image location okay that goes into my pasting as you know in, into my memory of the uh, uh, what I'm going to paste in there and then all I would do is actually paste that to rename with a photograph so where Thomas is explaining to you need to actually change it I'm not sure how clear you can see this is but it says um, uh, background blah 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 and that's where I kind of paste that within there and that's all I've done so if we just go back out again and we go back into clients. Yeah, so I'm, I'm in here. Then all I need to do is customize content and design. Then I click into theme. I go into shopping cart, as you can see here. And with the tool, I've even called mine shopping cart Zoe. Click onto that one, that tool, basically an advanced. And then into CSS, go into edit. Now you can see I've pasted all this in to begin with, but this is where the photographs are. I've been updated as far as where they're stored. Can you see it? So that is where we've actually added the photographs into them. So I've added one in for the wall art, one in for paper prints, one in for desk art, et cetera. And that's all I would do is actually go in and actually change it in here where they were actually um, saved. So even if you're not too uh, familiar with uh, CSS like me, at least you know that you can actually go in there and actually change and create a, a different kind of shopping cart anyway. Any questions, Jay, at all? Uh, no, all the questions you've answered as you've gone there, uh, everything else has been covered, so we're all good, mate. Brilliant. So what, uh, so what we've just covered today is a, cu a couple of things. The first thing that we did, we went in and built a new page. We created a gallery where we were going to select those images from. Then we actually, once we'd finished it, we updated the navigation on both the front page <laughs> and within the site itself, because this is, that was a custom front page there. So now every time I click on portfolio, of course, it does go to the correct page. And we showed you how to move the uh, button around. We showed you how to change the font. We showed you how to add in these ec extra little images over to the sides as well. If we wanted to take them away, we, we know how to do that by just clicking the trash can. And as we delete sub, sub, something on the page, basically, we're now aware that, uh, so if I delete the right-hand one here, I trash can that and I remove it it basically changes all the layout as far as this is concerned so once more I need to go into the contain container width change change it to how I want it work to work obviously press in publish every time that we do it we showed you how to put the new uh, button in place and how to link that off to where you want to go to as well as actually going in through the options to be able to go to the customize and choose a new site, as well as obviously going in there and being able to paste in a code from Thomas and basically update day, date it using the new images. So that's quite a lot in a session. Hope you've enjoyed all that, guys. We've recorded the session anyway. We'll get it live on the site as quick as we can to allow you to kind of follow it step by step again. Anything else, Jake? Uh, no, that's it, mate. Thank you for uh, doing that for us today. And uh, we'll be back next month with a continuation. And of course, guys, we do want your feedback. So if there's anything you want us to specifically look at uh, within Smug Mug, then please let us know. And uh, obviously, or well, just in design in general. And as, as Mark said earlier on, um, we can um, do our best to, uh, you know, show you how we can do that, obviously, within our tools of Smug Mug, but obviously just in the design process. And uh, there's always a way, as they say. So uh, brilliant. Thank you.